Hi there and welcome back to my channel. I'm Claire Jefford and today we are talking about Swiss Coffee by Benjamin Moore. I'm showing you now, because you may have seen my color review video last time, but I'm showing you now how to put all of these colors together that I share in my essential color guides into your own home. How can you make a palette with fabrics and wallpapers? Well, I'm going to show you, but first, make sure you subscribe to my channel, click the bell below and you'll be notified every time I publish a new video. All right, as I was walking through my design center with my essential color guide, I've printed off all of mine. So they are digital downloads that you can purchase and I've printed off all of mine and I was walking around my design center and I was looking at the different fabrics and here is some inspiration that I had based on the colors that I put together with different combinations. So here we go. So I'm starting here with the most calming of the palettes of all three that I'm gonna show you here today. This here, isn't this beautiful? It's a beautiful floral. It's got a lot of the colors that we have seen. This one here is uh, Lancaster White, and then we've got Moonshine on this side. So as you can see, these are the colors that are in the guide. They work beautifully with Swiss Coffee. So you can see that here. And then we've also got Thunder by Benjamin Moore. So now you can see how beautiful all of these colors work together, right? So what would you use this fabric for, Claire? Well, I'm gonna tell you. This fabric is a really lovely fabric. Uh, it's a JF fabric, if I didn't already mention that. And it hangs really nicely. So you could use this for drapery. You could use this for a pillow. I wouldn't, you, you wouldn't wanna use this to reupholster a chair. It's not that type of fabric. Um, but what you could do is, let's just say you had this as your drapery then you could go with a sofa color that was more of a neutral, like this one here. So that's a beautiful soft fabric. And you could do an area rug that is of this tone here. So again, very monochromatic, a much more soothing palette that we have happening here. And if you wanted to do some wallpaper, then look at how gorgeous this would work. So this is a lovely wallpaper. So again, bringing in a lot of the tones. That thunder is just playing very quietly in the background. I mean, with hardwood, you could really go any way with hardwood. I would say it's kind of neutral, like jeans. So that warms up the palette really nicely. So let's just say in your kitchen, though, you wanted to have, you know, you wanted to bring in some of these color tones as well. You always need to flow the colors into your, into the rest of your space. So you've got this here, which is Dove Dale by Cambria. And it's got a little smidge of like a, a yellow, orangey, rusty color in there, but not so orange rust, if you know what I mean. Um, so, you know, that looks like it would work with that. And then you could also, do let's say you wanted to do a backsplash that was this so this could even be a little balance in your kitchen if you wanted so just really here to give you some ideas right i'm giving you some ideas on how you could put it together and then you know lovely little hardware this is more of like a, a soft a brush brass hardware so all of this could go together so nicely in your home and that's just number one we have two more to get to so let's do it All right, in palette number two, I found this beautiful fabric. And like I said, a lot of times my fabrics that I find are the jumping off points for an entire home, uh, definitely an entire room that's not uh, unheard of at all. So this one I love, this is beautiful. This is another JF fabric. This one you could use for drapery. You could use this for um, a pillow, but you would not want to use it for, you would not want to use it to do any sort of upholstery with it. It's quite a fine fabric. But look how beautiful it looks when we start to tie it in with this I found, which is a grass cloth wallpaper. And now just watch what happens here, right? As I take the Kendall charcoal, which was one of my colors, look at now as I prop that into the back, look at how rich that starts to look. It's still very soft because of the, the nature of the actual pattern and the colors you've got. But now bringing in this grass cloth that has this dark piece, we can bring in some moody color with the Kendall charcoal. So maybe you want your walls to be a little bit darker, but everything else to be very light. You can put it together in so many different ways. And then with that color as well, we also have this one here, which is the Coventry Gray. So now you can see how that pulls out more of the gray. And if this is too dark for you, you might say, Claire, that's a little too dark for me. I'll go, that's all right. You can take this away. And then now you can see how it looks like if you want to go more lighter with your palette. So you have options, right? And then here it is with the Swiss coffee. So you can see how gorgeous it all looks together. Right? So there's that there. 
And then let's just throw in a piece of hardwood, give you an idea of the overall look. This could be a sofa fabric that you have. If you wanted to put an area rug on top. Now I would just be careful because I don't really like to, I wouldn't probably do that in the same room. It's too samey samey to me. And samey samey is an official word, I'm sure of it. Um, but you know, you could have this be, maybe this is in your dining room. Maybe that's, you know, again, it's it's got to flow and that piece definitely does. So it just depends how you wanna put it all together. And then if we just pop into your kitchen for one quick second to show you some ideas there. So here you've got the Swiss coffee and this is a Cambria Templeton. This is Templeton here. I've not used this one. Okay, so you could use that as a countertop and then you could have a nice white backsplash with it. And then we just add in a little bit of a bling element and you could have that here. But again, you've got to work off with something. Usually I say, you know, you're starting off usually with, if you're doing like a kitchen with your countertop piece, um, you know, and then for fabrics and decor, I say you can look to doing something like that. So then you can see how you put that together. But if you want some more color, then stay tuned. Here it comes. All right, so here we have palette number three, which we're going a little more bold with some of these colors. So check this out. So I've got orange that's in one of them, and this orange is Adobe Orange 217130 by Benjamin Moore. So again, these are all in my essential color guides, all listed there in the links below, you can grab them. So I wanna go with something a little more fun, and as I was going around with these colors, I was like, woo, look at what I found here. So I'm so excited about this palette here. This is so beautiful. I love it. So again, are you gonna say, well, Claire, that orange isn't like the bright orange. No, it's actually more of a rust. So this is again, to give you an idea. So now you know that you could, oh, I could actually go with that rust color, but look at these other two colors in here. You've got the green and you've got the blue, right? So it's really soft, really pretty, but I also love this dark green that you've got here. You could have so much fun with that. And of course it all looks stunning with your Swiss coffee. And so here's where we're bringing in a little more orange. You're gonna see where this guy comes in in just a second. But this fabric here, so look how this ties in. So again, so this could be a, uh, this is this is quite, it's, it's kind of a thick fabric. So you could use this for a pillow. Um, I don't think I would put a chair in it. I'd have to check, there's a lot. You have to check with fabrics. Don't just put any fabric on anything. It's very important that you know, you know how many abrasions it has. I'm not even gonna go into that. It's gonna get too confusing. <laughs> okay but um but you can see here you can see how this has got a little bit of blue it's got the dark green that you can see here and uh, i just love how this palette comes together and if you want it to be really bold and you were like whoo i want to do something a little more fun then we could even add something like this in and yes i would put these two in the same room but one would be maybe a drapery and then this could be like a pillow right and then this could be a chair so look at how fun that is and so now you can see we're kind of swapping out a little more of this color with the blue. So don't be afraid to mix, oh sorry, with the orange. <laughs> it's not blue, it's orange. So don't be afraid to mix and match. And um, you know, then we can add in different textures. So this could be like an area rug. Let's say that this here is your hardwood, right? So we've got lots of things that we can do, but I always love adding in some sort of texture somewhere. So that is our final and kind of most fun palette here that I've put together with Swiss Coffee. So I wanna hear from you. I wanna know which of these three were your favorite color palettes. Did you like the one that was more monochromatic, very subtle in tone? Did you like the one with the contrast of the Kendall charcoal or the more bright with orange and greens? Let me know, these all work really well with Swiss Coffee, which I did do a color review on, so hopefully you saw that and that you're subscribed to my channel. I'm Claire Jefford, I'll see you next time. Cheers.